Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to loop a program with C++. If you're wondering about how where all these codes came from, it's from my video from earlier where I showed you how to write a program on converting yard to feet. It's pretty simple. If you want to know how I came up to this, look at my other video. This one will be about how to loop using the for function. The first thing you have to know is that these are the variables. For the for loop to work, we will have to add another variable. You can call it loop, you can call it L. I'm going to call it I. I've gotten used to calling it I. <clears throat> first, you want to start up with for because it's a for loop. And an open bracket, it's a regular curved bracket, not the special brackets used over here. First, I will put i equals 1. That's this value i. I'm bringing it down. I'm saying that it equals to 1. I'm going to end that. And right next to it, I'm going to put i is less than or equal to 3. I'm going to end that again. And, and then i equals to i plus 1. What this basically does is it starts off i equal to 1. And then over here it's going to fill this i with the 1. i equals to 1 plus 1 is 2. So i is going to get a value of 2. So this is going to be 2. Excuse me, this is going to be 2. And then you're going to have i equals to 2 plus 1. This is going to be 3. When it equals to, when it comes down to 3, it's going to stop looping. You can change this number to 5, you can change the number to 10, any number you want. I'm using 3. And you have to have an open braces again here, just like the void main. And on the bottom, you'll have to end it right before the system pause, otherwise it will keep getting please press any key to continue over and over again. Once this is done, you can debug it. You can either go into debug and start debugging, or you can press F5 on your keyboard. When this comes up, you click OK, let it build. And here is the program. Let's say 5. That's one debug. That's one value. 2. And let's we'll say 10. See, now it says press any key to continue. It looped 3 times, and when I press any key, it closes. It's pretty simple. You can do changes to 5, 10, 2, to any number you want, basically. It's, this is one of the simplest loop programs you can do with the console command. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll post more complex programs later on. I know a lot of people don't know how to do the loops, but this is a great way to do it. Enjoy.